In this video, I'm going to show you how I create 3D game characters. So unless you're making a character with a lot of flat faces like a robot, you're going to want to use the subdivision modifier. So in the modifiers tab, I add the mirror modifier with clipping enabled and the subdivision modifier with a viewport level of 2. So creating the model is essentially just a lot of extruding or adding loop cuts to faces and then scaling, moving and rotating those faces. Here's the shortcut keys for those actions. So once I've modeled the entire character, I apply the subdivision modifier with a levels viewport of 1 because I still want the character to be reasonably low poly since I will be using him in a game. Now in edit mode, I start adding his cosmetics. Now before I can texture him, I need to UV unwrap him. So I decided to UV unwrap him in mirror mode, which means that anything I paint will be applied to both sides of the character, and it also allows for more UV space. I unwrapped him by using UV project, and then just moved the UVs around to better fit. So you can paint the entire character on one texture, or you can split the textures up by assigning mesh to different materials, which is what I decided to do because I want to change the colour of the frog skin with a node. Now in texture mode, add a base colour texture and leave the default size because you can always decrease the texture size later. So texturing the character. I usually like to start by adding the details I want like this pattern on the skin and then painting imperfections, which could just be different colours on the material. And then usually the last step is to add shadows and highlights. So same again with his stomach, I add some chest and belly details and then add highlights and shadows. And same again with his arm wraps, except I used the line tool here to paint the details and highlights. Also quick tip, when you're adding shadows, you're going to want to change the blend mode to darken, and when you're adding highlights, you're going to want to change the blend mode to lighten. So lastly, to rig the character, you're going to want to make sure the Rigify add-on is enabled, then press Shift A and create the human meta rig. Then just delete all the bones you don't need and then rotate and move those bones to match your mesh. Also you can delete and mirror one side of the armature by clicking on armature then symmetrize. So that's it, obviously this wasn't a beginner friendly or in-depth tutorial but hopefully it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like these. Also don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next devlog.